Hello, this is Melanie and I wanted to share with you a little bit about my life journey and in particular in this video I'd like to share about my mother Marilyn. So my mother Marilyn, she died when I was eight years old of suicide and it's this area of my life that uh, that I've always had a part of me that felt really embarrassed and shameful and it's an area of life that even though I've talked about it, I always f feel this a uh, deep embarrassment and deep, um, it's like one of those words you can't really, uh, it's like I don't even know what the word is. So I'm making this video primarily for myself just to just to even let go of those deep feelings and embarrassment and shame. So one of the things that comes to me, especially being an only child from my biological mother and my biological father, and even though I was eight years old, there's this idea, could I have done anything to save my mother? That's probably what's there. Because who wants to lose their mother or their father in such a way? And then when you have a, a loved one, especially a, a mother who's, who's known as a caregiver and she takes her life. And in fact, my mother took her life by hanging and it's it also has contributed to the the feelings of shame and embarrassment and my mother's name was Marilyn and she suffered from depression and she suffered from lack of self-esteem and lack of self-worth so it led me on a path of, of tapping into my own self-worth. And it's a moment-to-moment -moment practice. I realized that it's yin and yang and that there's always lightness and darkness in this life. And the more that you can have connections and community and tools, it helps us to get through these uh, times in life that are, are difficult and gray. So this video, I'm just beginning to share the process of, of being a daughter of a mother who committed suicide and letting go of the shame and embarrassment even after 32 years that still resides within me and, and my goal this year is to be free, free in spirit and mind and body. Not to let things that uh, are deep rooted get in the way of enjoying this life and this moment now. The beauties, the joys, all of it. So, thank you for listening and thank you for being with me as I continue to go deeper in, in the shame and the embarrassment that has been there. So, may you also begin to unravel that which is deep-rooted for you, that may be stopping you in pursuing your dreams and visions and passions in this moment of time. So, I'm letting, letting go of, of those uh, things that are deep-rooted, that no longer serve me and creating space for new beauties and new loves and new possibilities and new transformations to come. Have a wonderful day and may you also begin to look at those things that are deep rooted that have to be uh, brought to the light. Much love and light to you.